Hi guys, right, as you can see, I'm inside the expireddomains.net um, control panel. Now, these this is, this is is these guys provide a free service, so it's free, you log in, you sign up, and you get it for nothing. You don't have to pay them anything, and they literally, it's the best one I've found. I used to use Register Compass, I think it was about three or four hundred dollars a year. Um, I cancelled my subscription with them this year because I only use this now. Now, the great thing about this for UK people is it does the .co.uk. Um, Domain names, uh, Register Compass didn't, but obviously it's got all, all your other different extensions and everything. Um, I've been asked to whip through and just show you guys a little bit of how I choose my expired domains. Now, it's a real simple, easy process. Um, it's not going to take more than five minutes to show you, simply because um, everybody seems to put a little bit too much time and effort into purchasing expired domains. Um, and what they do is they go over to the auctions and they do all the background research and they do all the other stuff. If you buy an expired domains that only, right before I start doing that, sorry. If you buy an expired domains that uh, are for your, for your PBNs, which is, is usually what you'll buy them for, then the situation you're in is expired domains maybe cost you what, five to ten dollars a year. That's it, five to ten dollars a year. If you're going to spend two hours and you probably charge what, hundred dollars an hour if you if you if you're working for a client hundred and fifty dollars an hour maybe more maybe two or three hundred dollars an hour so if you spend two hours looking over one expired domain just to figure out what the issue with it is you've actually just worked right <laughs> for five dollars right to, to, to check out this this expired domain so the way I, I basically do it is I'll go in here I'll come up to the list so I've gone for the dot UK ones because obviously I'd be looking so um say for example I wanted a plumber domain name, okay? Type in the word plumber, make sure it contains plumber, and I'd hit go. It's as simple as that, okay? Um, get to this section here, and if you look up at the top there, you've got, sorry, next one across, uh, backlinks. Click on the number of related links, okay? So, and then domain popularity. Number of backlinks from different domains. Now, what you should be seeing for a decent domain now you can ignore all the rest of this crap it all makes sense it all helps for, for other things and stuff like that but you don't necessarily need it all so what you should be looking for a right is a perfect example of of one i would buy okay the domain popularity is the number of backlinks from different domains that means it's not a link that's been spanned across hundreds of pages on a directory how do we know that because it matches number of related links okay so basically there's 3700 links on there pointing from 39 domain names well that tells me spam 123 3800 that also tells me spam okay so the only thing i take into account when buying expired domains and like i've said to everybody in the past i don't buy auction domains i don't see the point now i look at this and i think to myself right so if i buy that now for two years that's going to cost me say 12 maybe 15 dollars or I can spend an hour researching it uh, where I could have been working for a customer for $150 or I could have been building three new websites that might generate me $2,000 next year, <laughs> right? For them three little websites or, or something similar to that. So, so my process is you don't need too much knowledge when it comes to buying expired domains. Look for the domain popularity. So basically how many, back, how many domains are pointing to it. See if it matches the number of backlinks in total, or it's quite close, see something like that, I'd still go for, because it's 12 and it's 62. I know it's five times the amount, but it doesn't, it's not like this here. 15 domains with 11,700, that just shouts spam all day long, and that just says that one's been there, even worse, 177,000. 11 domains with 100, nearly 200,000 backlinks, just forget about it, it's not gonna work. So what I'd do is, I'd go through here, and I'd find a number of plumber domains, the, so 8 and 13, 8 and 18 is perfect, 8 and 11 is perfect. Number of, of, of bat links is not necessarily important. And what I'd do is I'd buy, say, 10. Okay, and then the next step from here is you buy your 10 domain names, you build them all into individual standalone websites. Okay, so you've got 10 different websites, and then what you do is you let them sit there for four to six weeks. Go back after four to six weeks, and you've got that 10, 10 or five or however many sites you've built, Go back after four to six weeks and check out the rankings. So you've, you've obviously pushed the index for, for a single page or you've used a ghost indexer, which I believe, I don't know if everybody knows, has now got a force indexer that's supposed to work within 24 hours. <laughs> totally off, off, off subject, but I just thought I'd let you know that, that they've, they've, they've done an upgrade in there somewhere that now does it in 24 hours. 
Um, anyway, so basically you buy these domain names um, and you leave them for four to six weeks, right? And then you go back and have the indexed. Yes, they have. No, they haven't. Okay. Have, are they ranking? Yes, they are. No, they're not. Now, you're not expecting superb rankings, but if you see that that domain name has been indexed by Google and has already started to, to, to rank a little bit, just off a half decent website, you've just bought yourself a decent expired domain name. If it doesn't, if it doesn't get indexed, okay, if, if Google won't index the site, none of the pages rank when it is being indexed, so it's literally, it's been indexed, but the pages are like on page 153. Well, you're not going to get any benefit from it anyway. So what do you want to do? Well, just leave it for a little bit longer. And, and the thing is, the reason we play it this way is you can go out today and buy 10 domain names for, say, $100, and that's 12 months worth. Or you can spend one hour working on checking out this domain name and doing loads of backlink research and loads of other crazy stuff to try and figure out if it's a decent domain. And if you spend an hour working on it, you could have been doing a client review for somebody for $100. You could have built two or three new websites. So what, what I'm saying is expired domains, a lot of people spend a lot of time on them, but your time management is, is critical, especially in what we do. So wasting time searching for um, expired domains with great history and all the other crap, it's good. It's great to do if, if, you, um, if you're looking for a specific uh, domain for a specific client or for something like that, and then you do your research and, and everything else, and you, and you can simply just run it through SEMrush and have a look at it. It's not difficult. It, the tools nowadays do everything uh, for you. But what I'd recommend doing f for the way we work and the processes that we follow, that you don't actually need to go out and actually check out the details of all of your domains. You don't need to do full reviews. You don't need to think, now you will get some, some of these you'll buy, like I could buy that now and I could stick it on a site and within a few weeks I could be getting rankings absolutely everywhere. Then I throw a magic page on it and that starts to rank in all the areas within say a 30 mile radius of Brentford and it starts making me 10, 15 grand a year from that one website. Boom, awesome, I'm absolutely buzzing. I spent 30 seconds picking up a domain name, chucked it on a quick website and it's bringing me loads of money. Alternatively, it might get indexed and it might rank a little bit, in which case it comes one of my pyramid shaped uh, PBN sites that points to one of my money sites. Um, alternatively, it doesn't get indexed, doesn't go anywhere. Well, you've not caused any harm with it because you've not connected it to your PBN. You've not connected it to any of your other websites. All you've done is bought the domain name and made sure that it's not bad by waiting four to six weeks and not spending hours and hours and hours working around these. Now you think to yourself, shit, but I want to get my sites ranking now. I want to get my sites ranking last week. You can sit and do all the research you want on these things and you can still buy bad good domain names. The only way I've ever known to be able to actually buy domain names and be guaranteed that you're not buying a pile of crap is wait four to six weeks after they've been built and you've actually after you've submitted one of the website pages to Google's um, mobile page indexer. Now I always use the Google mobile page indexer if I'm submitting one page simply because it tests if your website is mobile friendly. Mobile friendly is super important for ranking websites and if you stick a, a theme on there, usually these offbeat crap themes that people are selling for stupid amounts of money um, are the ones that are not mobile friendly and are not built perfectly. But if you get most of the free ones that come through WordPress, you'll find that a lot of them now, probably 95% of them are mobile optimized and they're mobile optimized really, really well. Um, like you all know, I like Generate Press. I think it's a great theme. I think it's really quick. I think it's really clean. Um, they do a free option, and you don't necessarily need to upgrade, not for your PBN sites, to the paid version, which is only about $39 anyway. Um, but anyway, getting off tangent again, like I always do, buying expired domains is simple, easy process. Come over to expireddomains.net, okay? Come over to here and click the domain popularity button, which will pull up and show you after you've done you set your, your criteria. So obviously mine was just, I wanted it to contain the word plumber, okay? So domain popularity, then look down the list and say, okay, this one is the same number as the total number of backlinks to the website, okay? So that's how many domains are pointing to it. That's how many backlinks are coming from, to the site in total. So now I know, awesome, I'm happy because that doesn't look like a spam site. Simple, grab it, stick it on a shared hosting platform somewhere, put a website up, just a five or six page website, you don't need to add your magic page and go through all your, all your stuff unless you're cloning your sites, which is cool, and you're using the evergreen, the new, uh, new plugin. Chuck the site up, send it live, and if within four to six weeks you're seeing rankings, you're seeing it's being indexed, 
you know it's not a bad domain, you know it's not going to kill the rest of your sites, you know it's not going to drag them all down. It literally is being indexed by Google because Google likes it. It's starting to pull up the rankings a little bit because Google likes it. You just bought yourself a decent expired domain. Now sometimes you can go through these and you can find all the bat links you want, but let's be serious, if you're going to spend an hour researching that one domain name, okay, and you've just lost yourself, say, $100 for the hour's work or whatever it is you'd normally get paid for that, um, then I personally would just go down this page and buy that domain, um, that domain, probably that domain, that domain, not not that domain, maybe that domain, that domain, that domain, that domain, that domain, and, and literally spend that same $100 on domain names. And I guarantee one out of those 10 that you've just purchased will be a decent domain name, will, will do well for you, maybe even one or two. Uh, what I find is if I buy 10 domains, I'll find maybe three or four are pretty good. Um, and usually one out of the 10 will be a decent domain. If you're doing this regularly, so say you do this once once a month, every single month after the four to six week period is over of, of your bedding in period, you're gonna have 10 domains coming up ready for you to then start saying, okay, let's have a look at the, 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 the rankings, let's see where they're all sitting. And the thing is with these domains as well, you, you can do the site colon and um, site colon URL dot com, whatever it is, to check the how many pages have been indexed so straight away you know how many pages have been indexed and you don't necessarily need to go off and check all your rankings it's 10 websites so it takes you five minutes to just whip through each of the things and just search the pages and then just go through google to see if any of them are ranking anywhere whatever your title tag is that's showing in google on the index page just copy it right click it and just put click search in google and you'll be able to see straight away if it's ranking anywhere or not if the sites are ranking awesome you know you've just bought yourself a decent domain but that really is how simple it is, guys. Okay, I'll pass you back over to me on the uh, on the webinar. Cheers.